This is the Ultimate Steam Deck Dock, and this is how I built it. So, the intentions were to take this iVolar Dock, which is a great little dock that has Ethernet, HDMI port, USB-C port, where you're going to put the Steam Deck's adapter for power, and three USB 3 points. So, with this great dock, I'd like to take the internals from this dock and make it my own. How are we going to do that? Well, the first few things that I thought of initially were to take something from Valve, use their kind of theme as either the Portal or the Half-Life franchise, and possibly take an item from there and make a, you know, dock that either looks like something or is reminiscent of one of those games. After going through a bunch of those and pictures online, I ended up with a companion cube dock and then realized I'm probably not going to be that great at making that. So what I ended up doing instead was I looked on Etsy and found a bunch of different dock ideas that people are selling. And I thought, well, if I could go with something that's wood, I like the wood aesthetic, plus possibly some acrylic to make a dock that suits me a little bit more. I'm also going to try to get the Steam Deck logo in there somewhere because I think it's cool to have a little bit of branding on there, make it look a little more official, um, even though it won't be and probably not up to Valve standards. <laughs> so uh, let's draw this out and get to making it. So we're going to start off by stenciling the wood and the acrylic that we want to shape. After we've gotten this done, we can go about cutting out the wood, cutting out the different pieces of plastic for the feet, and also the acrylic. This design has got a bunch of little intricate divots that actually hold the deck. So I'm gonna be mostly using the Dremel for this and different type of sanding and routing bits. Even though, you know, I'm not the best with the Dremel. I'm also gonna fit some lights and the included hardware from the dock so that we can get this whole thing working. to jam into this one little dock. Let's get to shaping. Hey, so this is day two of the Steam Deck dock build here, and I got everything into the shape that I wanted, but uh, it's still kind of, you know, ugly. So I'm going to try and do some finishing touches and add some foam pieces along with the Steam Deck logo to this and see if I can, you know, brush everything up to make it look up to speed because I think it also needs like a little chin to add some space in the back here so that it stands up a little more straighter. And um, I think the fan doesn't need to be on all the time because it's kind of loud. Whoop. Let's get into the build. So with lots of shaping and sanding of foam and wood, we ended up with a half decent dock here. In addition to using blue and white spray paint from Flame. Overall, I went with foam on the dock instead of the rubber due to the heaviness of it and how well it stuck to the wood with hot glue. Alright, so this project turned out pretty well. I think this was a fun project to do because I now have a Steam Deck dock that matches my stuff. And the internals, 
as they worked great before, still work great now. I added the additional fan, which I don't actually think is needed at this point. I doesn't, I've noticed it doesn't really do that much. But it does look cool, and it's a spinny fan that's fun to watch, so that's why it's on there. I matched that with some Lifex strips, so that when I turn on and off the lights, the Steam Deck dock doesn't actually have to be on and in use to have the lights turn on, too. So I like that. Other than that, I thought this was a fun project. If you guys make any of your own docks, let me know in the comments below. And, yeah. If you like this video, but, you know, our strapped for cash there are definitely other options for making a steam deck dock and the box is one of them check out that video and check out the other videos i have on the steam deck as well we also have other tech videos and plenty of other stuff to uh watch so go check them out they don't come with pickles though i keep telling people